Hi guys. Welcome back to the Messy Kitchen, you guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everybody. It's uh, Thursday for me in my world. So we're going to start where we finished the other night. So this isn't dry yet, this bloom. Um, but it's drying well. So I'm super pleased with the pouring medium. Um, and I'll go through that with you in a minute. So before you guys all rush out and where do you get it and how to buy it and all the rest of it, this is still really experimental phase for me and there's so many different styles of pours. But Kathy asked if I could show you the can. Can you see that? Oh, there's my oven. Um, it's Seco Premium Exterior Paint. That's all it says. Uh, it's semi-gloss in a neutral base. So last bloom i mixed it just with floetrol um, and it seemed to work really really well as you saw with that bloom um, but tonight i've mixed it differently because it's always kind of about what can you do that maybe works the best for me so tonight i went back to my original three two one recipe that i used with felspar only i put the seco in it so i did three parts seco two parts Minwax polyacrylic and one part Elmer's glue, but I use school glue because you all heard me whining about the cost of glue. So we're going to do a transfer swipe and just kind of get a feel of how it works for transfer swipe. So my base for my transfer is just a big puddle of leftover stuff that we scraped off the night before. We're going to add a bit of this one too. Same thing. Dirty paint. Dirty, dirty, dirty paint. And then we're going to try to see what happens with a transfer swipe in this medium. But so far, so good. So my colors. So these are all brand new colors, freshly mixed. Freshly mixed. So this one is Amsterdam White. So you can see how stringy this stuff is. I pointed it out the other night. Like you can just keep going and until there's nothing left on the stick, you just get these little sort of tendrils of paint, um, which is pretty cool actually, I think. And these are not my colors. So this is a definite going to be an experiment. So this one is the alzamine, I think it, alzamine from our um, atelier. I might have that name wrong and if I do and you really need it I can find it for you but every time I try to say it I screw it up. Okay this one is TLP. This is Athena and it's mixed with a tiny tiny bit of the bright pink. Um, so I'm going to stop for a second because I did save a skin off of a where did I put it? I did save a skin off of one of my jars to show you guys how clear this stuff dried. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's super, super transparent. So I was really happy with the piggies because I used the same pouring medium for my piggies. And although it was a little bit opaque when I put it on, it's drying clear. So I'm this time my piggies are mixed with the same pouring medium. So Athena mixed with a little bit of hot pink, hot, hot pink. And we're gonna try it and see what happens. Okay, this is pink. This is Pabio iridescent blue, red blue, which is stupid, it's pink. There's no other way to say it but pink, but they wanna call it red blue. So that's what we're gonna call it. And then this one, yeah, I know you guys are like, what? This is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold with a little bit of um, Atelier Blue Black just to kind of give it that really kind of copper penny look. That's my goal. TLP's Ball Gown, again, same pouring medium. Hot pink, as hot as it comes. So this one is from the dollar store, you guys. This is just the cheapy acrylic, I think they call it, in the pinkest pink you'll ever see. 
And then I'm going to put a little bit of golden ochre and I kind of think it has something else mixed in it. But I'm not sure what that something else is. Fun little, I'll show you how stringy this is. You can go round and round the guard and goes the teddy bear. Uh, as long as you have paint on your popsicle stick, basically. Okay, let's do this. Um, 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 um. I think I'm going to swipe it out. I think I'm going to swipe it out on the big one, actually. So, black cell mix. I absolutely do not need one this size, but that's the size I'm going to use. And what color do I want to put in it? Let's put some of this pink in it. Hot pink. Athena mixed with the hot pink. I don't know about these colors, you guys. And a little bit of this stuff. Uh, boom gel in black. I'm losing it. Oh, it's actually got a silver top on it, so it's got a bit of silver coming through. Oh, well, it won't matter. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. So we're going to let this just kind of pop up there. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna transfer it somewhere else. And we may have to do a couple of puddles. It all depends. Again, it's just a trial with the Seco, but I'm liking what I see at this point. All right, we're gonna move this over to here. And then we're going to pour this out on this bamboo board. So these things are super fun for me. Uh, these are really cheap. The Dollarama in Canada sells these for like $4. Um, some of them have an imprinted logo on them. And those ones I paint on the back. But they're considerably thinner. This one is a lot wider. Uh, and no logo. Which is perfect for you and I. Because the other side. The other ones have a tapered edge. So I actually paint like I said on the back of them. And it's not quite the same. All right, we're gonna throw the lid to the paint on the floor because that's entertainment value for you guys. And then we're using Beauty Tone Paint from Home, Hard, Home Hardware, right out of the can. It's finally not as bubbly as it was, finally, but it's taken like a week. So I won't be doing that again when they're trying to help and ask if they want to shape my paint. I'm just going to say no thank you next time. Sometimes I've been in there and they just kind of scoop it and take it before I even realize what's happening. There's a goober bit right there. All right. Let's just spread this around. So I have taped off the back of this because I make a big mess. And cheap tape doesn't work really well. Um, I think these bamboo boards must have some sort of a finish on them, although they're not shiny. Uh, but definitely the tape will not stick. So get some better quality tape than stuff from the dollar store. And tape it all down. Burnish all your edges. Um, I just take my edges. I take a popsicle stick. And I just make sure that they're pressed down really, really firmly. And that's it. Okay, we're going to give this a little spin out. Just to even it out. And I have completely lost my putty knife, so I have to find that before we can transfer anything to anywhere. I'm going to put you on hold, guys, because I have a feeling it's in my wash tub. I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and I found my putty knife. 
Um, and I actually raised this up so the paint drips onto the tile a little bit better because I don't think I'm going to spin it. I think I'm just going to shift it and tilt it. And uh, I made sure my edges were covered because nine times out of ten what happens is I transfer swipe it and I think, well, I can always fix the white. But, of course, the part that I miss is where the swipe has gone over and that's kind of hard to duplicate. So super quick hand wipe here and then let's do this. Again, pouring medium, all experimental. So I don't know if this is going to work and hold its shape. And we just have to wait and see. Let's try to keep this from spinning. Will that work? Good enough. All right. So we're going to take this pretty puddle of color. We're going to take these small cells. I'm not super crazy about that. So we may build another puddle. And we're just going to scoop these up, laying your putty knife down as flat as you possibly can, and really just letting the paint kind of roll on. We're trying to maintain the shape of those cells, although we're going to lose them all in a minute. So let's go from there. And then let's do this. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm not unhappy with that at all. I think that went on pretty slick, you guys. That's a good thing. So I don't really want to waste all this paint. And so I generally just kind of mix it all up, but there's enough pretty bits that we can just add another swipe to this because it's all gonna shift and look different in a minute look at that lovely so let's oh look at what i'm doing let's just pick some more of this up maybe right to there and let's come in the other way. Let's come in over here where I just put that big yucky fingerprint of dirty paint. So depending on how you turn your palette knife really depends on how your paint comes off your knife. Um, and that little bit is just picked up, pick it up, move it, pick it up, move it, pick it up, move it. Just simple, simple little moves. You just have no idea how excited I am that this paint is working for me. Okay, a um, little bit of maybe some tilting. Let's bring it all down a little bit. So because I like my lens really, really crisp, I am super fussy and picky. And I know there's lots of other things that work for lots of other people. They just don't work for me. So if I was going to modify this piece, um, the lines are lovely. The lines are crispy and yeah, I like it. I'm happy with this. I'm still going to stretch it because we have to take a little bit of paint off. the underneath because it will pour your pull your design down see I missed this little corner here of course I did because it's red and we can just touch it up look at this palette knife you guys I don't know if I can get you close enough look at how pretty that is What am I going to do with the corner? All right, let's just give it some of this. 
No one's going to notice that but me, but I know that it's not the same. So when this dries, the tape will come off and then generally I just give my wood on it, the bamboo, a little bit of varnish and they come out really nice. They sell really well. Um, so if you guys are doing craft sales, Christmas market, stuff like that, it's a super cheap substrate to paint on. Um, and they definitely sell. A couple years ago, I was telling you, I've told you before, I did pizza boards also from the dollar store and I didn't do enough of them. I couldn't keep them in, in the craft sale. I, I sold lots and lots of them. All right, you guys, I'm going to take you off your perch. I'm going to leave this just as is. Um, again, it is a trial to see if I can do transfer swipes. I'm going to grab a quick toothpick because I have one little bubble there that I don't like. And then I'll bring it down for close-up. So, so far, I am pretty happy with this pouring medium. Um, I will consider it a success, I believe. There's a couple other types of pours I want to try. My other Velspar medium was perfect because I used it for every different pour that I ever did. I have a gooey bit right there that I probably can't get out. Oh, fiddlesticks. All right, well, let's scoop it out. And if I wreck the line, ah, look at that. Yuck. So let's just pretend it never happened. Because I did that on that side, I have to do something on this side. Or do I? Done like dinner, you guys. Done like dinner. All right. Let me put this back on. Keep it from spinning. And I will put you guys on pause again. And then I'll bring you down. And we can take a look. Okay. Here we go. On pause. Maybe. All right. We're back again. So the light lock is off. So you can see that it's quite a bit darker than you think it is. And we're just going to go down and have a look. So nice crispy lines. Uh, nice to find cells. I like that. I know my colors are weird. I'm sure you all cringed when I said I was putting bronze in this. But it was a good choice in the end. All right, my friends. Sorry this is so dark, but it is the way it is. And I can't do much about it right now because I'm at the end of the video. All right, guys, take care, poor, happy, stay safe. Um, any questions about the Seco that I'm using, feel free to ask. Like I said, don't go rushing out and buying it and making your own. It's really important for you to figure out what works for you um, and what's cost effective and all of the things that you're concerned about. You have to claim it and make it your own. All right, my friends, poor, happy, stay safe. Bye for now.